Good evening. What you're about to watch today is Maverick's Words, the Ma uh, Morning with Mav, and his therapy session that he is sharing with you guys. Uh, also, letting you guys know what's going on, the big news, and just his thoughts and feelings. Thank you for being a part of this journey. And we thank you for all the love and support. God bless. Good morning, Team Immortals. Today is Monday. And I'm going to share with you where we are at physically and mentally um, with this journey. At 3 a.m., I had my cognitive test, I believe it what it was. And I did pretty good. Uh, my weight is just under 200 pounds. So I came in at a day of the accident at 175 pounds. So I put on almost 25 pounds. I'm sure I'm just fat from this hospital food. Is what it is. Um, I am currently only taking for the last 48 hours I've only taken Tylenol every every 12 hours so I'm taking no pain uh, medicine I am taking the the nerve blocker which helps block the nerves that are firing in my face because my face isn't reattached yet so those are things that i wanted to share with you so let's talk about pain management we not only have pain management in our lives the pain management and injuries and we tend to lean towards things to control the pain now I'm going to share with you guys what was shared with me since a child. You know, my father was one of the founders of the U.S. Navy SEALs. Whether it's written stone or not, it's the truth. The idea was started in 1958, way before the inception of the SEALs. And what the mindset meant of a Navy SEAL. What the mindset meant in the, in the, in the mix of battle that no seal will be left behind and that's the truth but every seal had to learn pain management and what that is it's a psychological thing that your body is allowed is it can capable of releasing enzymes and endorphins that help with pain management in a serious injury like your arm getting ripped off your leg getting severely broken and understanding and also guys um, I, I these glasses are not my glasses my other eye has been really affected to this so I can't really see I kind of have them on so I'm trying to see uh, that I'm square in the picture I can't quite read the words down there but I will try to read them uh, later so let's get back to the pain management um, so pain management comes within whether you have an addictive state of mind whether you have an injury where you're going through depression whatever it is and you have to understand that you cannot reach towards things like pain meds alcohol food anything like that to subside what it is you're going through the more you strive to reach for a quick fix of something, that's exactly what everything will be in your life, a quick fix. So understand that. That is why we have reality boards, okay? Because vision boards are cool, don't get me wrong, 
But like my father always said, if that's something you want and that's something you work for, and you don't show the end result, you encapsulate the end result, but now you have to develop structure to get there. And that's followed by the three things that I talk about all the time, which I hope somebody can remember. Setting a goal, developing structure, and building a budget, okay? Those are the steps. Those are the basis of the steps, okay? Now, one thing I want to talk about is this, this coronavirus that now that I'm aware of, which I probably was aware of before, but I, you know, you guys know what's going on with me. We don't need to talk about that. So I see, watch the TV about the Black Lives Matter and all the rioting and all the stuff that is going on. And they try to put a lot of blame on the president that we have right now. So I did some research to look back on where we're at now with presidents and did we ever have a minority president? And we did. President Barack Obama. Not only did we have him as a president for four years, he did two terms for eight years. So the reason I bring this up is because my loss of memory does not help my future in making decisions and doing things because if we don't remember our past, we cannot protect our future. So I see these people trying to dismay these, these statues and destroy these flags and try to change all that. Now, you don't need to support those things that are symbols or representations of something that is something from our past, but you can learn from those things and keep those things as a reminder to drive in the right direction. If that was the case and that was what we should have done, why was this not done when we had the black president, Barack Obama? Why weren't these things addressed then? He addressed nothing of that than the research that I've done that I've been able to do because my eye limits me to 15 to 20 minutes every few hours and then it just goes out because I don't have the right glasses. The point that I'm getting at is this. I've lost my cognitive memory and it sucks. It sucks, why? Because how do I, how do I make decisions in the future if I don't know the decisions that I've made in the past. And that is extremely difficult. And that has weighed so heavily on me all night long. Now, hopefully, I'm going to be able to go home to my wife and my kids sometime this week and start preparing myself physically and mentally for my surgeries to replace either they're going to put the prosthetic eye or what they do is they make a duplicate of what my eye looks like it's a lens and the lens is attached to the eye but the problem is the eye had hemorrhaged and exploded last week and it bled out through my nose and mouth and the eye has to have what's called certain eye pressures to stay in to keep the shape of the eye. If the eye reduces that, it starts to atrophy and shrink and could cause bad problems. So that's what July, I believe, six for test is to see if I get the prosthetic eye or the lens for the eye. So I'm hoping, well, regardless, I still don't have my eye, I still lost my vision, but whatever the case may be, both um, procedures cost about the same. Right now we're at about um, $160,000 uh, in hospital bills. And yeah, it sucks. But it's okay, I'm going to rise to the occasion. So understand this. 
understanding your past or where you came from is what helped develop your future. Understanding that your mindset when you have injuries or you have problems at home or you're going through things that drugs, medication, alcohol, and food are nothing but a quick band-aid and a quick fix to something. Changing one's life or making a difference in one's life starts from yourself within. Healing from yourself within, building yourself within without having to induce something to make that feeling subside, whether it be a relationship or whatever it may be, or a traumatic injury like this. Taking Tylenol every 12 hours is unheard of what the doctors talked about right now. But for me, mentally, I know that not inducing narcotics into my system is going to help my system recover even faster. I'm sorry if I'm slurring a little bit, but remember my jaw is disengaged from my orbital and that's when the things they're going to fix on July 6th. So let us recap um, today's morning with Mav. I'm sharing this journey with all of you because all of you have donated to me. I have never asked anyone for a dollar in my life. I would stand on the street corner and eat ramen before I asked somebody for rent money, in per se. So I wanna thank all of you for the donations that you guys have done towards my recovery and helping me. So that's why I'm sharing this with you because essentially you guys have paid for it. You guys are paying to help me get through this journey. So I'm gonna share this journey with you and show you that you can do all things through the Lord Jesus Christ. You can do all things without drugs, without food, without alcohol, without these things that we use as band-aids to protect our inner self when we're going through situations. We can rise above that. Now, my blood is the blood of a lion. I understand that. And some people are not raised that way, but that is my blood. And when I smell blood, it hungers me. It drives me. It pushes me above and beyond anything that's unimaginable to most people. And I wanna share that with you guys. And I want you guys to be able to smell your own blood and rise from that occasion. Stop using narcotics, painkillers, alcohol, subsiding food as your quick fix or as your, as your go-to because you're better than that. If I can do it in my situation, so can you. That is what the lifestyle of the immortal is. This is true, my friends. This is true. As much pain as I am, I'm not going to address the pain. I'm gonna address the functionality of what it is that I can do and what I will do. And what I will do, well, what I will do is get this eye with a glass first thing. What I will do is rise for you guys. I will rise and show you that a tragedy can turn to triumph. Many times I have been knocked down, but that will not discourage me because I have the three things that we talk about. Setting a goal, developing structure, and building a budget. And building a budget is just not about money, but about time. And I have some very successful people in my life that have been friends with me for a long time. And they've based that progress and that success on those things. Joe Cat, Daddy Alan Yetter, one of my closest friends, has worked on that and we have talked about that since childhood. And he's a very successful business owner that has a company named Diamond Direct Jewelers. Also a good friend of mine, Steve Harwell. He has been talented since day one. I saw it as a kid and I knew it as a kid. These are memories that I have and there are successful people that have applied those things of setting a goal for themselves, 
developing structure, and building a budget. He is the lead singer of the group Smash Mouth and has numerous hits out. But he didn't allow his lifestyle, he didn't allow things in his life to deter him or lead to. Now, I remember as a kid, younger, he did have a little bit of stint with alcohol and that was his escape. But he has grown from that and now he is still continuing to be very successful. As my memory comes back, I will have more and more stories of people from my past that are still in my life after 40 some years. Okay? Stevie Malazzo, good friend of mine, went into the Navy, became a Navy medic, and now is a pharmaceutical, I'm sorry, um, he deals in medical supplies and instruments for surgery, started his own business, a very successful man. So I have many friends in my life that have applied these things, applied this work ethic that I've talked about for many years. And that's how I was successful. Now physically I need to stand back on my feet and rise to the top again, and I'm going to do that. And I'm doing that and sharing this with you guys because of they started that GoFundMe and you guys have donated to me. So right now this is all that I can give back. Believe me, it weighs on my mind heavily. Now I'm gonna talk about a little bit about last night Last night was extremely difficult to me because there is such a gap of no memory. So my new memories are my good friend, the doctor that's here. My new memories are Harbor Medical where all my nurses and friends became my friends in there and it took care of me. And that um, that is is what my memories are. Besides my memories prior to about 1997, and I um I I have kept all my closest friends from many years back in my heart and if I may not have been there I've loved them from a distance and I've watched them from a distance and I've seen them succeed I've seen the talent in many people my little buddy Jeffy Jeff he has Tourette's syndrome and it was difficult for him younger because he would spout out bad words I do remember that but I saw good in him because his heart is golden, golden. He has what my shirts say, loyalty, honor, and family. And like I've told all of you, it doesn't matter what you're loyal to, what baseball team, what football team, what, whatever it is, you need to be loyal to that because there will be highs and there will be lows. And it's very easy to be loyal to something when it's high. It's at the top of its mountain. But can you be loyal to something when it has absolutely nothing to offer you? That's when you know you have true loyalty. In my memory last night, it really, really upset me because I have a wife and I have a family and I don't care how many books they put together for me here. I don't care how many pictures I identify with and I name. A memory is so much more than a picture. It fries my brain. It just... Because I have these people and I have no... I can't even explain it to you. It's like I'm in neutral, like I'm lost. I'm spinning in a direction. I'm here in this 
wonderful hospital that I'm saying great things about, but I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone in my mind, not just physically, but in my mind. Because I'm making, the only memories I'm making is with the structure that is here in the hospital and keeping me from my family. How, how do I fix, keep, how do I build memories again with my family? It's, it's very difficult. I want you guys to know that. But I'm not going to sit here and be victimized because of, of it. I'm going to follow the process, do what they want me to do, and get home to my family and all of you. So I thank you for everything that you guys have donated. And I will let you look into my deepest sar secrets in my whole life, in this whole travel that we do on our road back to the stage and remembering my family. I know Gwen has told me about many of my friends that have called, but you have to understand that it's not me. It's not me. It's this. It's broken. How do you go home to a wife and hug a wife that you've never known? It's mind blowing. It's so hard. My wife has family, has a mom, has brothers, has nephews that I spend time with, has grandparents that I spend time with, but I don't know now. I'm going to feel so uncomfortable being around anybody. Here it's okay because this is the hospital, right? And I'm, I'm meeting these people. Oh, shit. So anyways, we're going to get through this. I'm going to share this journey with you guys. And I want you to remember the three things of success. I think those are so important. Set a goal, build a budget, develop structure. Those are important things. I want you guys to work on your reality boards because if you don't write things down, if you don't take ownership of things, they are only thoughts and you can't track it. You need the reality boards to get to that vision board. Trust me on this, please. And again, I thank all of you that have shared and given to my GoFundMe. I know my face is distorted and my, my, my words are not right, but I'm working on them for you. And I'm praying for all of you. I'm praying for all of you to see what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for me. I'm praying for all of you to see that you can turn tragedy into triumph and not become a victim. Never, ever, ever, ever. On those words, I'm signing off to you guys until our workout today where I'm going to try to work out again. And I will see you there. At the end of the day, you're either with the immortals or you're against the immortals. You choose. There we go. Okay. So, you ready? Uh -huh. Normal speed. Normal speed. Go. All right.
for the next one. You can stay right there. Okay. I'm going to have you walk at your normal speed. Uh -huh. When you come to this box, I want you to step over it, not around it, and keep walking forward. Okay. Okay, you ready? Uh -huh. Okay, go. Normal speed. Don't look at it. Step on it. Good job. Good. And then we'll do that one more time. So, normal speed. Which leg do you want me to step on? It doesn't Yeah, as long as you go with the left one, because it's a little bit funky. Okay. That's totally fine. Ready? Okay, ready? Go. Oh, one step off, step forward, step over. Perfect. For this next one, you can stand right there. You're going to walk. Your hands folded across your chest, heel to toe. Okay. And I'll tell you one side. When you're going to walk at your normal speed until I tell you to stop, you're going to walk with your eyes closed. Oh, this one's not big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I'm going to close my mouth. <laughs> okay. All right. Ready? And then we get straight in. Yep. Right here, so I'll in now. And I'll make sure you don't run in. Now. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. Go. Normal speed, eyes what you scored and kind of tell you, tell okay. you how well you did. See how well we did. <laughs> so, you want to sit down on that mat again? All right. Well, we're going to see what the doc says, how well we did. So because of your collar uh -huh. and not being able to move your, your head, okay. we couldn't do one of the items. Uh -huh. So normally this is scored out of 30. Okay. Um, but because we were only able to do nine, I'm scoring it out of 27. Okay. So you got a 26 out of 27. A 26 out of 27. Yeah. So that's good, right? That's basically perfect. You got yeah. one, one point off. You heard it from the doc. You got, <laughs> I only missed one point. So uh, that's really good justification to show your doctor and say his okay. balance is great okay um, usually for this test when it's out of 30 usually for this test if you score anything that's below 23 you're at an increased risk of falling oh shoot okay but you scored 26 out of 27 i'm assuming if if you didn't have the restrictions for your neck uh -huh. you probably would have got 29 out of 30 okay so nice. you're you're not in that range of increased risk for falls okay okay um, that's so that's a good, a good thing, thing. Heck yeah. The next thing that we're going to do is go back out in the hallway and okay. I'm going to see how far you can walk in six minutes. How far in six minutes? Yeah. So I'm going to time you. All right. You guys ready for this? Six minute walk. <laughs> and okay. there are 
kind of numbers based on your age of what we would predict you'd be able to walk. Okay. So if you can walk in that range, then that's more justification to show your doctor that you're getting back to okay. where you were before. Okay. Um, so we're going to go back. Okay. Keep running keep okay going. cool all right um, so this is going to be our starting line okay for this test again you're you're walking at your normal speed okay you're, just cruising yeah don't feel like you have to go okay. extra fast okay and you're going to go down this hallway to uh -huh. the end you're going to take a right uh-huh and then you're going to take a right down the first hallway okay that's going to send you down this way Come back around. Yeah, you're gonna make a big circle. All right, Joe. All the way around is 300 feet. Okay. So I'm gonna see how many laps you can do in six minutes. All right. And then we'll know how many how many feet you need. All right. You guys ready for this? On your mark. Get set. Go. Go. All right. We talk about this all the time. You improvise and adapt separate the pain that's in your mind because pain is only received by the receptors that are in your brain your body doesn't know pain it doesn't feel pain it sends a sensor to the brain and the brain in turn tells your body oh that hurts or oh that's pain so when you're able to control that as my father taught me many many years ago that is how no man is left behind. That is the basis in 1958 on the SEALs organization, how the Navy SEALs were funded and how my father started that whole program. So your mind and brain control knows everything. If you are laying dead in a coma, not dead, but if you are laying unconscious, intubated in a coma, and they cut your arm off, you would not feel anything because your mind receptors is not receiving that signal right now because it's not awake or cognitive so when your body is awake and cognitive when your brain is awake and cognitive these are the things that you need to use to sustain separating being sore being injured or having pain and when you're able to do that you're able to function more instead of reaching for a pain pill reaching for narcotics using alcohol or food to subside what it is you need to feel inside as an individual so we're gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna push and we're gonna get some laps in and we're gonna make this happen. Here we go. Okay. Because we can't bend this knee. All right, let's pick this pace up. Let's give it some, let's put a score on this thing that <laughs> this place has never seen before. And then just so. make sure as you're walking to Maverick. Yes, sir. You can't get any um, patients in, in the video. Oh, no, for yeah. sure. No, 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 no. So if they're coming up, just make you know, sure. Let me turn it towards me. Sorry guys, we're gonna keep it towards me because this is a private facility and we don't wanna get anybody on here, okay? Okay, so you gotta look at my messed up face. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not anticipating that you'll need it, but uh -huh. if for some reason you do need a rest, uh -huh. you can just try and do the rest with you standing up. Okay, no, I feel actually pretty good. This is so invigorating for yeah. me because laying dormant in the bed has <laughs> Really giving my blood no still ever. So we're coming up. This is the second lap. So you've gone 600 feet. Okay. And it has been two minutes and 50 seconds. We're doing good. Let's set some some goals. I realize how blessed we are to be able to have the function of everything and see those less of others that that don't that we seem to use as a crutch or play victim to our own situation in life this facility is actually an outstanding facility i wish i would have got here last week because i think my recovery would even be stronger than what it is right now with the talent of joseph and the people that work here it's been nothing but the utmost highest level of professionalism that I've seen in any kind of medical facility in a long time. And it was just been truly a blessing to be able to meet these people and to be a part of this. And I guess I have to laugh because in a long time, 
I have no memory, so I guess it's the only thing that I know. <laughs> so, is what it is, I guess. Left. We got two minutes left. Two minutes. We better pick up the pace, soul collectors. Team Immortals, we need to get this party started here. What's the record? Do you know what the record is? Ooh, I'd have to look it up. Oh, I've, man. I've had people walk probably about 2,000 feet. Okay, so how many laps is that? That here would be about six and a half going on seven. And how many are we at right now? We, this will be lap four. Ooh, we better pick up the pace then. <laughs> we are falling behind, kiddo. The immortal cannot be destroyed by mere man itself. We have to make sure we set a precedence and give Joseph a good feeling when he writes my report to the doctor that he feels confident that I'm physically stable and agile to get my butt home. We are cruising it. There's a bunch of traffic right now. I guess it's traffic time here at the at the clinic. 40 seconds left. 40 seconds. We gotta pick it up. We got 40 seconds. We gotta get this last lap in. And we are pushing. 30 seconds. We have 30 seconds. We're coming to the home stretch. Up. 20 seconds left let's pick this pace up try to get back to those arrows we gotta make it easy so he has an even number yeah, 10 seconds left 10 seconds man we better pick it up Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. oh shoot that's all right we got close <laughs> we'll go into the gym. Okay. I'll count the exact one. Okay. And then I'll let you know. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. I mean, I'm not having to help you with anything. Your uh -huh. balance is really good. Uh huh. You're so, from a physical standpoint, I definitely think you, you're ready to go. Thanks, Joe. I, I appreciate mean, I, that. A lot of times. Um, like you had mentioned earlier, when people do go home, mm -hmm. they do better because you can do a lot more. Right. Right here, we're working with you for an hour a day, and then the rest is kind of on on you. Yeah. And there's not much to do when you're in your room. In a bed, yeah. <laughs> but when you go home, you can walk as much as, as you want to. Right. Um, if you have access to gym equipment, I know you have some restrictions. Right, right. Um, but as far as... You know, other activity you can you can pretty much um, get back to that uh, more frequently than you can here. Right. Um, and so I think when you go home, you're a little, you'll do I, even better. I appreciate that. Hear that? That's from the specialist. Even with a sideways nose, no eye, and a jaw hanging off, we are pushing. All right, Team Immortals, we're gonna get back to you guys. Let me focus on Joe and pay my attention to him. I uh, hope you guys are all kicking butt. Get off the couch, set some goals, and don't play a victim in anything that's going on in life. Let's do the damn thing. Good evening. I did say I would be on here at 9 o'clock. It's 9.06. Um, I hope everyone had a blessed day. I want to make a habit of coming on here around 9 o'clock every night. And just sharing with you a little bit of my day or just some random thoughts or even questions that you may have. Um, I think setting a time to come on is better so you guys know when to tune in rather than it just being random um so i just want to start by coming in with a prayer so if you guys want to join me i want to just dear lord 
we ask that you continue to protect us and guide us and that you put your healing hands over Maverick. May he come home and feel a little more at ease. May you replenish his body, store him in his health, and continue to protect him, Lord, through Jesus' name, pray, amen. Um, tomorrow, Maverick comes home. So excited. Nervous and excited. Um, Aubrey's over there doing something special for him. I love you too. So happy that he gets to be with us again and keep helping with his recovery, helping with his memory, and just moving forward. So I know that today was a stressful day for him. He was overwhelmed. Um with all a lot of he calls it tests but they're not tests they're exercises and things that they have to do physical therapy um occupational therapy and what is it um speech and cognitive therapy so because he's capable of doing for himself he's able to come home so he's coming home for sure tomorrow, and I will be picking him up, as well, and Aubrey will be coming as well at 11 o'clock. So he is able to do for himself, meaning physically, and he still will be going into his rehab therapy, but he can stay home. Um, I know he's anxious, and he's just over the hospital theme and I'm I'm ready for him. okay I don't know what's going on with my service um, thank you for all the prayers and now it's oh man I'm getting bad service sorry that he finds his healing here Sorry, I don't know why it keeps cutting off. Something's going on. Um, so yeah, my day today was just about getting the last minute things ready for him to come home and making sure everything's safe and in order. And now we just are family again. So we'll still be sharing, like I said, all my plan is to be on here at nine o'clock every night that way you guys know when to tune in and if you have any questions I'm willing to answer but mostly I'm just here to give you a little bit of our day and pray with you guys um, our website is on it's launched today I know we have a bit of errors going on so just bear with me if you've ordered something and it's giving you some type of I will get that fixed and we thank you for your continued donations to the GoFundMe. We thank you for sharing it. We thank you for supporting. Uh, sorry, it keeps cutting off. Just want to remind everyone that when Maverick does come home, um, we're not allowing visitors and it's just about rest and recovery and we will definitely keep you in tune with, you know, his journey and progress. I'm going to get off here because it keeps cutting off. I'm sorry. But you'll see us tomorrow and we'll have him home. And we will be on here sharing that pickup. Um, I know I'm very busy all day long. <laughs> So I don't really have time to come on here that much. And now I'll be even busier because I'll have him home. That'll be nice. So now you'll see us both together on the same video. Um, we love you. We appreciate you. We thank you. thankful for you. And thank you for being a part of this journey with us. If you have donated we thank you and we appreciate it and if you 
that's shared, we thank you and we appreciate it so very much. Um, we just thank you for all the love and support in general. So I'm gonna get some finishing touches done around here and we're gonna go to bed and see him in the morning. So thank you for all the prayers. Thank you, I really, 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 really appreciate it. And thank you for the support. Hope you guys have a good night. And remember, either you're with the Immortals or you're against the Immortals.